Uh, my name is uh, Yann Lequin, or Yann Lequin on this side of the pond. I'm a professor at New York University. I teach computer science and uh, machine learning, AI, and a little bit of neuroscience. And I'm also chief AI scientist at Facebook, which is uh, a few blocks away from here. As a scientist, you, you define success by how you change the world for the better with your ideas. And so I guess that's, that's, that's one, one criterion. Uh, personally, I'm interested in understanding intelligence, whether it's human intelligence or machine intelligence. And there's a lot of satisfaction also I, I get from, uh, you know, educating people and seeing PhD students take off in their career. The strength of the educational system in France, uh, French engineers and scientists are, are very good. There's a lot of French people in AI uh, research and development across the world. Uh, so that's one strength. The second strength is the, the sort of startup ecosystem that has been growing really quickly in Paris. Paris is now the biggest uh, center for uh, startups, tech startups, particularly AI startups, uh, ahead of London. Uh, and now there are opportunities for young French researchers who want to stay in France to work for uh, industrial labs, which didn't exist just a few years ago. So f I opened one uh, for Facebook a few years ago, four years ago. Uh, Google has one as well, and you know a number of other companies have open research lab that gives opportunities for young uh, uh, French research scientists wanting to uh, do their work in France. That contributes to the overall ecosystem. I, I spent half of my career in industry and the other half in uh, academia and universities. And a few years ago, when Facebook started to get interested in AI, Mark Zuckerberg called me up and said, can you help us build an AI research lab? And I said, uh, I could, but I, I don't want to quit my job as an academic because I really like the university environment, so I can do this part-time. I don't want to move from New York. And, uh, uh, you know, it took a few months, but eventually that's what happened. So I, I joined Facebook and I, I built uh, an AI research lab. This was the first research lab at Facebook. Facebook did not have a culture of actually doing research. Um, and... Uh, What's special about it is that the research we practice is open, so we publish everything we do, we distribute a lot of our code in open source, and we collaborate a lot with universities. So that's a, kind of a new way of doing research a little bit in industry. It's certainly going to have an impact on uh, healthcare and medicine, uh, a big impact on transportation with autonomous driving. In medicine, we already see a lot of usage in medical imaging uh, diagnosis systems, but in the future, AI will help discover new drugs, uh, new courses of treatment for chronic disease, things like that. Um, and, and we're going to see a lot of changes in access to information, in uh, uh, manufacturing, in environmental protection. So all of those things are going to be affected by AI. AI is actually going to penetrate all corners of the economy over the next decade or two. Well, I, I'm, it's, it's purely scientific. Um, you know, I've, I've sort of reached a bit of the, the, the pinnacle of success in, in, in science, so I want to make progress in, in the scientific questions I'm interested in. Uh, how do you get machines to learn like humans or, or animals? We still don't understand how humans and animals can learn so efficiently, so quickly. Where does human intelligence come from? And so that's what I'm working on, essentially. Mm -hmm.